in my opinion, Justin Trudeau is a dictator. Just look at how he enacted the Emergency Measures Act to quash a peaceful protest that was demanding an end to COVID-19 restrictions and forced vaccinations. He wouldn't end it. He wouldn't talk with them. He wouldn't even acknowledge their existence. He just went into hiding, got COVID twice. That's what it took him to end the flight restrictions. He had to take. Um, he had to be. He had to catch COVID twice. This guy don't want. He has the power, and he's going to dictate it. Nobody can stand on the way. He is the man of the people. He is executing the will of the people, the dictator. You know what? I think you're right, Mocha. And unfortunately, my friend, I think things are going to get worse in the months ahead when you see the likes of uh, Bill C-11 uh, being mandated into law, assuming it gets Senate approval, uh, in which this government is going to um, censor the Internet. And again, I hearken back to eight years ago when uh, Justin Trudeau, yes. before he became prime minister, said he had admiration in his heart for the basic dictatorship of China. Can you imagine that a future leader of a Western world, a democracy, would have admiration for yeah. China? I mean, what is making this guy tick? Well, he is the most loyal um, prime minister on the stage of World Economic Forum. But when he said that, he tried to like, he tried to backtrack when he was saying that he, he admires Chinese base, China's basic dictatorship because he knew it was a slip from the mind from his thought process. And now every, everybody heard that. But there's no going back from that. We heard that. That was absolutely a ridiculous thing to say, but it tells a lot about who he is. One last question, uh, Mocha. There was a, uh, a rumor that surfaced in certain media circles uh, earlier this week that Justin Trudeau, it's almost unbelievable to me, but he's contemplating a fall election. Um, it would be incredible given that, oh, look, look how often we've had an election, 2019, yeah. 2021, now 2022. <laughs> and I really think this government's um, best before life has come and gone, um, that they're only mm -hmm. being propped up by the NDP, which to me is no longer even a credible political party when you mm -hmm. denounce the government on yeah. in the morning, but vote to prop them up at night. Uh, your credibility has gone out the window. Do you think that's actually a possibility, uh, Mocha? Is, is maybe Justin Trudeau delusional or... Is he maybe such a sociopath that he wants to have a majority mandate that being propped up by the uh, Jugmeet Singh is not good enough for him and that he may think that the conservatives under presumably Pierre Polyev is an easy target in the fall? Mm -hmm. uh, because I think to think that he's making a serious miscalculation. Well... This might be a possibility, I think, because look at look at him. He's flying all over the place, going to photo ops, taking pictures. He wouldn't go to the airport because it's a mess. You, you never see these politicians, <laughs> these liberals, um, taking selfies or taking pictures or making announcement in front of the mess that they have created. They only take pictures in like, it's all uh, public relations to trick the public that he's been, he's loved, he's admired, he's being mobbed by admirers and all that. Well, it's all a lie. It's just a bunch of liberals, a, a dozen of them if you exclude all the security guards. But yeah, he might think that um, if he doesn't do a quick snap election and if Pierre Polier wins the CPC leadership, then he might have, you know, it might be a balanced... Um, environment where Pierre is holding him accountable for the things he do and becoming a strong opposition. Maybe that's not what he wants in the long term. So he just wants to um, get clean right away, go to an election, get rid of the problem. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think just because of Justin Trudeau's ego being the way it is, uh, maybe he has a bit of a 
humiliation and the fact that the fourth place party has to prop up the once mighty liberals and that he uh, buys into the Kool-Aid that Pierre Polyev is some kind of extremist, air mm -hmm. quotes, and uh, Canadians will reject him. And I think if he's thinking that, He's in for uh, the proverbial October surprise, <laughs> uh, that's for sure. Um, but I just think there might be something to that because, as you alluded to, this jet setting around the country, going to pancake breakfasts uh, and so on and so forth, it almost seems like he's in yep. campaign mode as opposed to taking the summer off. And we know he loves to hang around uh, at Tofino like a beach bum. So maybe there's something to it. Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.